Hey everyone, thanks for dropping by the channel. I'm Marco, and this is Exploration Gaming. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite Elder Scrolls Online events, the Undaunted Celebration. This is, by far, one of the most profitable events all year because of the sheer number of style pages that drop inside Undaunted reward boxes. Not to mention the extremely valuable and awesome looking Opal style pages which are only found during this event. Okay, first things first, when does the event start? And I'm glad you asked because I don't know. The event was live on the PTS, but Zoss has not announced a date as of this recording. I'm guessing in the last few days of August, so very, very soon. What do you have to do? It's easy. Just do four-man dungeons. Do a lot of four-man dungeons. Do them until your hands cramp with Carpal Tunnel. Then take a break and do some more. The first dungeon you complete will yield you a glorious reward box that, as Gina wrote in the patch notes, contains an assortment of valuable goods, motif pages, and a guaranteed chance for one of the new style pages for this event's Opal Weapons. A guaranteed chance is my favorite new Gina Bruno quote. It's like possibly for sure, or jumbo shrimp. Now in a moment, I'm gonna give you a pro tip on what you should do with your Opal style pages. You'll also get two event tickets after your first final boss is dead and laying on the ground. Two tickets per day, per account. But the event usually lasts for 15 or 16 days, so they do add up. The Indric Mount Vendor will return, as will our dear friend the Impresario, so you can spend your valuable event tickets there. Now remember, you can only carry a maximum of 12 tickets in your inventory. So if you play every day, you're going to have to buy stuff. The Impresario will be offering this year's new Veladreth Opal equipment for five tickets each. Her Opal style pages are non-tradable. Now Zoss usually has some big prize that you use your fragments for. Spending event tickets over several different events and combining them with a special pet to get an amazing item. In the past, it's been a free house or a great mount. You know, something fantastic. But this year, Zoss wants you to save your tickets up to buy a lame costume. You need 15 event tickets to obtain the Soulfire Dragon Illusion Pet and an additional 30 tickets to get all the Daggerfall Paladin costume upgrade fragments. Now, no one in their right mind is going to waste 45 event tickets for that prize. The Daggerfall Paladin costume is so hideous that even blind people can sense its ugliness. <sighs> Sometimes we wonder what Zoss is thinking, don't we? Okay, what else can be in the reward boxes, both glorious and unglorious varieties? Motifs, lovely sellable motifs, and plenty of them. Transmute crystals, undaunted keys, undaunted plunder, and you get the idea. Now in a moment, I'm gonna tell you how to get the most gold out of this event, but right now, yeah, I'm asking you to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Twitch. Help a brother out. I'm the Bob Ross of ESO, so please take a second to keep this vibe going. Okay, here are the pro tips for the Undaunted event. Pick your favorite Uber Group dungeon character build, and for me, that's my Magicka Templar, and get ready. Go to the Undaunted Enclave and pick up the daily pledges, including Balgrol's Delve Quest. You want to do these because two birds with one stone and all that. Next, grab your favorite guildies and get ready to speedrun. Now this year, Zoss is trying to use incentives for variety so folks don't just run Fungal Grottle 50 times a day. Each dungeon has bonus style pages that might drop according to the specific dungeon that you run. Now my advice? Run Fungal Grottle 50 times. I mean, maybe do one random dungeon for the XP and maybe do the Undaunted Pledges for the extra keys and transmutes if it's convenient, but mostly Run Fungal Grottle or Elden Hollow over and over and over again. Time is money, and some of the dungeons in ESO are just too damn long. Next, spending your event tickets. 
you want to go to the Impresario and buy the Opal style pages that you want for your own characters. You can see I brought out some Opal stuff that I've collected in previous events. The style pages the Impresario sells cannot be sold or traded, but buying the ones you want means you can sell all the ones that you get from your dungeon runs. It's the best of both worlds. I've never understood the logic in these shoulder pieces, though. Wearing one weird, shiny, purple shoulder looks ridiculous, in my opinion. It's like walking around with one shoe, but whatever. Veladrith and the Troll King are going to be the real high-end sellers this year, so look out for those drops. This is going to be a very fun and a very profitable event. Seriously, you can make millions of gold. Remember, it never hurts to save some style pages to sell in a month or two, and then really make a killing with them. I'd love to read your thoughts on the Undaunted event, so please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and good luck out there. As always, I'm Marco. Have fun being undaunted, be kind to other players, and keep exploring.